So hello again. Today we will cover two interesting distributions which cover an XFCE environment. The first one is an Ubuntu based which is Xubuntu and the other one is a Fedora based distribution coming from Fedora Spins which is Fedora XFCE desktop. Let us start first with Xubuntu. Xubuntu is a flavor of Ubuntu. If we look at the website, you can download it here from the website. It is now based on Ubuntu 22.04 and now they are working on 22.10. There's some minor changes happening on the 22 version. This is the website and if you notice, this is the site for the tour. They just talk about it's a good balance between uh, uh, light and the modern or uh, heavy and it's ready to use they speak about the xfce how to make the desktop your own and these are the every now and then uh, zubuntu or ubuntu make a contest for the wallpaper so these are the wallpapers that won and that's only it they just give you a glimpse uh, about it as for fedora as i told you there is the fedora spins and if you notice xfce is one of them you can install them and the benefit that uh, fedora has on xubuntu is they have the fedora respins which in on this website they can give you an update every uh, now and then maybe after one week two weeks three weeks etc since fedora 36 was uh, in may or it was released in may every now and then the respin will give a new uh, live version so if we go to uh, f36 x fce which we can download it is around 1.6 gigabyte as for uh, xubuntu i think it is around two point something the next thing before we we go to the desktop environment directly is we need to talk about the installation for xubuntu so if we look at the installation if you noticed before lubuntu they did not have any option you directly install it next 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 and there is no option so you, they installed library office they installed many other applications as for Zubuntu you have this option which is the normal installation which tells me web browser utilities office games and media players are installed the minimal is only the web browser and basic utilities if you press the other option download updates it will uh, the installation will be also s slower and also for the installed third party software for graphics i already installed it on a virtual machine with a very low tech like two gigabytes of ram and two cores and it took a lot of time because it is updating and installing and after that i had to update again and install so uh, a bad point for Xubuntu is like Lubuntu it takes a lot of time as compared with Fedora. Fedora will take I think around half the time to install. So that's uh, that's about the installation if you want to install Xubuntu you have these two options. I prefer the normal installation other than the minimal because I think in the normal you'll have a software uh, like discover you can uh, for installation of programs for the minimal you don't have the, the software only you will see it in the review when we when we talk about it so let's start with now with the Xubuntu desktop so this is the Xubuntu desktop if you notice this is the default wallpaper that comes with Xubuntu it's a nice wallpaper you have the trash and the home only on the desktop and you have also the panel if you notice all xfce they come by default the, the panel is on top but you can put it in the bottom you can put it on this side you put it on the other side all you have to do is you go to panel panel preferences you remove the lock and you drag it down or you put it vertical or you, you take it also to the other side you can do what uh, what you what you like with it and also for the appearance if you want you can have the everything now in the dark mode i like this one to have it as the dark mode etc etc these are features for the xfce i will not cover most of them also i will not cover the theming i just want to give you what is included and what to expect 
between Xubuntu and Fedora. So if we notice here, we have the whisker menu. We have all the accessories that come with uh, by default with XFCE, like the file manager toolbar, like the terminal emulator, and we have also the settings. You can have all the se settings. And if you notice for the internet, they have the Firefox web browser. If we open the Firefox web browser, as you notice in Ubuntu in the earlier video, which I will give you a, a link to, uh, for, it also uses Snaps. So it will be uh, a little bit uh, slow to uh, open. Okay, so that is the Firefox. And if we notice here, if we go to the help, we go to the, it is Mozilla Firefox Snap for Ubuntu. This is causes a big problem for Ubuntu and Lubuntu. For Ubuntu, there is no problem with snaps because it is meant for a modern hardware with very high specs. For Ubuntu, it's better also not to have the snaps because it takes a lot of space and uh, you, you lose a lot of uh, productivity by uh, utilizing the snaps. Okay, so that's it. Another thing we, we need to note is uh, uh, snaps. We can remove snaps as we did in the Lubuntu version. Let us go over uh, and check uh, on the terminal emulator. Let me first right click on this one. This is what I like always to have a terminal in the desktop. I don't know why they, do, they always uh, want to hide it. So now what we have is let me I already installed NeoFetch. It's not, it, was, it was not installed. And if you notice here, Zubuntu 22, four hours, it has 1,371 uh, 1, packages with seven snaps. This is Bash 1920 by 1080, XFCE 4.16, and it's using around 537 megabytes of RAM. So what, what we want to know is the snaps, how much it will, it, it is costing me as space. And to know that I also installed a small program, which is NCDU. Let me first go to the root directory and I press NCDU. It is analyzing how much space we have. It's a very good uh, program to install so that you can know where all the uh, space is going. So we have in the user, we have 4.6 gigabytes. For the snaps, it's 4 gigabytes. So if we look at the snaps, it has 1.9 for GNOME 3 uh, and Firefox 971 megabytes, Core 2, GTK themes. Snap D service, 340 megabytes, bear, bin, and uh, readme. So this one is taking a lot of space and also taking a lot of space, the swap. So if we cover 4.6 and 4 and 2.6 and 2, we are, go we are around 12 gigabyte, or total disk usage is telling me it's around 13.4 gigabyte usage so far what which is a, a very high number let me go to the user we have the library 3.3 gigabyte and the share is 899 so basically for 1371 packages we are using around 3.13.4 gigabyte of space which is too much let me go out okay so we close uh, now subuntu and we go back to Fedora spins XFC. Okay, and this is the default Fedora respin or Fedora spin XFCE. As you notice, there is a slight difference. Maybe it's more than slight difference. There is here we have the Plank desktop, which is a good addition to have it. We have also the added uh, file system here also on the on the desktop. And if you notice the application, it is uh, it's not using the whisker one. They are using uh, this uh, this mode of uh, presentation. And uh, so that's basically it. The installation went very fine, same as the others. I, I told you it was half the uh, time that included for the others. If we want to look at the, the space, uh, let us uh, first let us open the terminal. We go, let us go 
go ncdu i also installed ncdu it's taking all the space if you remember the xubuntu took around 13.4 gigabytes this one took 5.1 gigabyte only 5.1 gigabyte so what are the parameters that are uh, too big there is the user var boot and home home is 35 megabytes and the user if we look at the user the user is 2 gigabyte for share and 1.3 gigabyte for lib4 and for lib if we look at share the icons they have a very big uh, chunk of icons and if you notice the icons you, you you'll see here mint so they have also the mint uh, theme they included it and it is much there's uh, one uh, around 300 megabytes of mint inside which is which is good all of this and we are talking about around 5.1 gigabyte as compared with 13.4 which is too much if you have a small hard disk you just install fedora and you are ready to go as for uh, as for the applications it is the same thing the applications you will see that they have the settings the same as the one that you can see in xfce there's nothing uh, more missing for the accessories you also have tunar you have the mouse pad you have the xr driver calculator there's not much difference than the other there is also here firefox there's a pedigree internet and transmission i think they have them also in xubuntu in the multimedia there's also available the parole media player etc and also you can see now in xubuntu you will not find it in the minimal install in the normal you will find the library office in the minimal you will not see the numeric which is like an excel file uh, a minimal uh, spreadsheet file and atril document is also similar uh, for for the viewer of uh, pdf files and if you notice this in the system there is also the gparted all of the others for the for the software this is the one that lags a, a little bit you can use the uh, terminal for for that or you can use the DNF Dragora, which I don't really like much, but we can we can have it. It will uh, it will load. It is uh, a slow entry if you want to use it. It will take a lot of time. It's now creating the package cache. Uh, the last thing that we will talk about is the NeoFetch. Also, we will will talk all of this NeoFetch and if you notice now in neofetch what we have is the same xfce 4.16 bash the same bash packages 1592 packages so it is around 200 200 packages 200 packages more in fedora with 5.1 gigabyte so this is a good for if you want if you have less space and for the memory is around 621 megabytes as for the other software as you know Fedora comes with the latest software so if we go to Firefox for example so it is not snap it will uh, it will load quickly Fedora comes I think with the latest one which is around 5.19 or maybe we'll reach 6 soon as of the recording of this video so linux fedora is 5.19.11 so we have the latest kernel also installed as compared to xubuntu if you like xubuntu you can go with xubuntu they have more uh, software driver support but also fedora has the latest packages and latest with within everything and if you notice everything comes very straightforward for theming and you have also the mint theming included so i am a little bit biased to fedora but uh, you can pick whatever you want and we will be back in another video soon thank you